it's all about the last digits involved. So it may be a two digit number, but it boils down to the last digit of the two digit number. There are 10 possibilities. In all, there are 90 two digit numbers, but it doesn't matter, zero to nine, and then nine such sets from 11 to 20, then 21 to 30, then 31 to 40, likewise, nine times. So total, there are 90 two digit numbers. That becomes the denominator, numerator, whatever the number is, let us say it is M, then m raised to power x leads to 1 on the unit place. How many such cases are possible? Look at statement 1, x is equal to 12. So we know that a number ending with a 1 will always lead to 1 on the unit place, no matter what the power is. A number ending with 3, when the power is a multiple of 4, 4, 8, 12, etc., it leads to 1 on the unit place. 12 is a multiple of 4. So all the numbers which end with 3 should be counted. Similarly, 7 raised to power 4, 8, 12, etc. So all the multiples of 4, they also lead to 1. 9 raised to power, all the even numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, they all lead to 1 on the unit place. So all the 4 terms should be counted. 4 terms from 0 to 9 and 9 such terms, rather 9 such orders from 11 to 99 or rather 10 to 99. So four such terms and nine such cycles. So the required probability is whatever it is, it can be determined. It's not about getting the number. The point is that statement one leads to a unique answer. Statement one is sufficient. Statement two, same logic. It's not about 12. We just saw 4m, 4k, 1 raised to power anything, 9 raised to power 2k. If it is a multiple of 4, it is of course a multiple of 2. So we will end up with the same value here. Statement two is also sufficient. The right answer is option D. Thank you.